Last year we spoke with Honda's humanoid robot Asimo, came on the show, demonstrated a bit of conducting for us. Well now Honda is using some of the same technology to help people who have trouble walking. David Ida from Honda is here to tell us about the Stride Management Assist, which is what I'm wearing right now. David, good morning. Good morning. Everyone behind me has so many questions. <laughs> Let's begin with the first that I have. How does this work? Okay, in both sides here, there are hip angle sensors, and those hip angle sensors send data to the CPU, which is located in the small of your back, and that provides optimal torque assist to the thigh frame, so it moves your leg backward and forward. The end result is it lengthens your stride and helps regulate your walking rhythm. So the sensors here on my hip send yes. a message to the computer, tells it what my legs need to move better. Exactly. And right. you've seen some dramatic results? Yes, For actually. Give me some examples. Okay, well, our R&D team, um, is working now with uh, a hospital in Japan, a rehabilitation center, and they've been working with some stroke victims and uh, people who have other disabilities. And uh, the results have been very dramatic, but right now we're just trying to get more data. Yeah, to help, it, to yeah. help the com medical community actually use right. this. Let's talk to our doctor, Jennifer Ashton. You see so many possibilities for this, don't you? Oh, it is endless. You know, Maggie, about six million people in the U.S. have had stro strokes, and a large percentage of those who survive strokes have real impairment in their motor function. So this is not just for the elderly, though, or people with Parkinson's, people who have had potentially spinal cord injuries, even children with cerebral palsy. Walking is a very difficult process, and this really assists that whole, you know, process. When you say assist, really, when you walk, it feels like it's kind of doing the work for you. Right, but it's actually ironic because it might feel that way, but in actuality, they've looked at PET scans, and this actually engages more muscles than if you take shorter strides. So it is actually preventing subsequent muscle atrophy. It's really terrific. Huge. An important point I think we should make, and David, if you could come back, you have to have some mobility. This is not for a spinal cord. Injury. Correct. This is people who can actually get up and, and walk a little bit, right? Right. It is an assist device, so people would need to be able to stand up and at least walk a little bit. Okay. Spinal cord, maybe the next phase? Well, that's, that's something we're looking into right now, but um, there are many challenges ahead. Yeah. Well, I want to answer some of your questions. W was it comfortable, right, you said? Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, right? It's very comfortable, very light, and very easy to move. You can sit and, and stand without any difficulty. Uh, other question? Is it easy to put on? Easy, it took 30 seconds <laughs> That's to put right. on. And it weighs about six pounds, so. Thank you, good luck, David. Thank you. Appreciate Thank your you time. Much. Thanks, Doc. Why don't you do a little a little demo for us? Okay. I don't know that we'll be able to see anything, but tell us what you feel. Well, it really is, it's just supporting and stabilizing, you know, the hips and legs as you go up and down stairs. And even sitting, it really gives a lot more support and stability, which is really important for anyone who has difficulty with this process. It's right. really nice. Thank you so much.